Okay, so they come to you and they say, uh, we're making another transporter movie. It's not Jason Statham. Centered completely around your character now taking over the transporter franchise, as well as you being a major part of telling this new story. What is your reaction, I guess, to, uh, to that approach, to, to them coming to you and saying, it's all yours? I think it's definitely a mixture of all of them. I mean, definitely there's pressure, but all of that pressure comes from me. You know, there's no pressure from outside sources. Every project that I approach, I, I approach, you know, focusing on the actor and the character. It's not, to me, it's, I don't like to watch the monitors. I don't like to see the rushes. I don't like to think about it as a movie. Certainly not think about it as a franchise and certainly not think about previous movies or what may happen in the future, you know. You exist in that one moment. You try to live as honestly as you can and, you know, try and convey the emotion that's on the page and, and, and you know, I approach it like that. So it's really one step at a time and don't think too much about the marathon. Yeah, I think I realized it really at the end, you know, at the beginning for me, it's really when I first met, you know, with Luc Besson and, you know, I got to work a little bit with him at the audition and I was like, wow, I follow this guy anywhere. I don't really care. You know what I mean? I'm like, that's amazing. I'm doing this. And then, you know, go, you go through the film as Ed is saying, you know, like any role you do, it's the same approach you have. You know, it doesn't matter if it's a big, but, you know, it's a role. A role is a role and there's no small role, I think. Well, you're, you're a part of something uh, pretty massive at the time uh, when this comes to you. Game of Thrones is a huge phenomenon. Um, and you have a, a, key, a key and pivotal role that was, that was incredibly popular. How hard was that to kind of say, okay, uh, and, and leave that to, to, to roll the dice, I guess, and, on something that's more your own? Well, I, I certainly roll the, roll the dice on every project I do. And, <laughs> but every project I've taken on is independent. It's been reported in the press that I left Game of Thrones to do the transport of, you know, the timeline, <laughs> it doesn't it work happened. anyway. I know, everything was separate and everything is, um, you know, is, is, uh, is taken on ind independently. And, and, and so, you know, yes, it was, a, it was a wonderful thing to be a part of, in the same way that this was a wonderful thing to be a part of, but none of them have more weight or, or gravity than, than the next, you know, the, the tiny Danish movie I shot after the transporter, where we had only 26 people in the crew and we went in a minibus every day, clumped up to work, was imp as important as these films, as important as the franchises, as important as the, you know, Deadpool or any of these other movies. Each one is, is just about the character. And I love my job, I love my characters. I've loved wearing, you know, all of, all of these characters' shoes and I'm looking forward to exploring, you know, some more characters over the next coming years. Well, Transporter name is on the title, Transporter is on the poster, Transporter is the thing that, that's at the forefront of this, but what really struck me is that it is a female empowerment movie in disguise. You can see it in a Mission Impossible, they've got a great role, a feminine role, and she's got the same level almost as the uh, lead, mm -hmm. you know, and, uh, and Transporter, uh, I mean, as well, it's a different character for sure, but the intention is the same. Yeah. You know, I guess we can speak on the same level and, and be able to communicate, although if we disagree, and being able to still care about each other, and I, I like that. I think it's, it's also about representing society and, and this, this beautiful melting pot that, that we live in. You know, I come from London, and, and, and we've all, it's, it's never been, we've all grew up colorblind, and, 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 and so it upsets me that that's not represented, you know. In, I want to see more roles for ethnic minorities in leading roles and supporting roles. I also want to see leading roles for, for you know, for women as well. I mean, we're seeing, you know, the Black Panther movies, an exciting one, our first, not our first black um, superhero. We had Michael B. Jordan did a, uh, you, know, you know, a great job and also Meteor Man obviously started it all off, you know. But, but I, I want to see more of that. I want it to be represented, you know. Uh, I've always felt that my friendship group and, and, and you know, my family, you know, m my mum is a strong, powerful woman and, 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 you know, it's about time that, 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 that strong, powerful women were represented in the arts. Sounds good. And a Meteor Man reference. That's, yes. That's a first. Yeah, I've done well. I've done well. I'm trying to get him in. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys very much. Thank, Thank you. you.